Graham sure is dive. I, I guess at least it didn't happen while we were in game, right? I guess that's better than the alternative. like still waiting on the boy the Christmas miracle Said he's going to get a snack and it's been 10 minutes. Sir, where are you? <laughs> oh no. Oh, he just answered. It's like he's listening. <laughs> Big snack. <laughs> He said he's actually having pretty bad computer issues. He might not be able to get back in. Damn, oh, I was having fun. I wanted to try to win. All right. We'll just have to try again next time. Oh, hello. <laughs> Why? Said he is gonna try to restart the router and see if that helps. Uh, so do I start another game or? Hmm, I don't know. I guess if that's all he's gonna try, that shouldn't take too long. So we can just goof off for a little bit. That means Taps my prisoner and they have to listen to me uh, talk about the anime I watched yesterday. <laughs> I started a new anime. Uh, he's having like connection issues and he's gonna try restarting the router. I guess he also had an internet blip. At first it just sounded like the game crashed, but maybe, I don't know. His special router. <laughs> it just goes to show no technology is infallible, right? Hey, River! Welcome in, welcome in. Um, we were gaming, and then there were some crashes. We are trying to fix the crashes. So we're just goofing off and chatting for now. 
hopefully there will be more gaming momentarily. But while I stall, you have to listen to me talk about the anime I watched yesterday. <laughs> The anime. I was I was pleasantly surprised. I'm I'm gonna be honest. So I watched it. It's called Sasaki to Miyano, I think. Uh it gets shortened to Sasamiya. So I think I think that's the full name of it. Um it is gay. It is it is it is BL. Um and I knew it was going to be because I saw the kiss scene. I saw a clip of it and I, and it was very sweet. It was like, it was legit romantic. And I was like, oh my God, it's one thing to show boys kissing, but to like actually legitimately make it romantic. Like a mood and a vibe and everything. It was so fucking nice. I'm like, I gotta watch this show. I gotta watch it. So I walked into it knowing that this was where it was going. But I was continuously surprised at, like, how fucking legit and not pandering it was and how wholesome and, like, it was fucking good. Um, the premise is that our main boy is a good, soft weeb. He's a nerd. But he's specifically a weeb for BL. He's, like, he's really hella into BL. And he's like me. Like, he'll get into one. And then he'll be like, oh, I really liked that. I need to go find the rest that this author has ever done or been associated with in any way. And he'll like, oh, these are like fan anthologies of the thing I like. I gotta get those too. Like, he'll deep dive into the brain rot. <laughs> but it's very specifically stated that he enjoys the BL. But he's not gay. Or at least he doesn't consider himself that. He's only ever been attracted to women. Uh, he just really likes... He says specifically, like, the way that the romance is set up. He likes... Like, he, he prefers the vibe of it. And I'm just like, this is, this is fucking nice. Like, I, I, I relate to this character. I feel this. And, like, they clearly... They know a decent amount about the genre, whoever wrote this, but they do kind of stick to tropes at the same time. But I guess a lot of romance writing does stick to tropes, right? But it was, regardless, it was refreshing that it was, it was a gay anime, but the main character, like, actively engages in gay content and enjoys it. So I liked that a lot. Um, uh, and then the other nice thing, because... I notice this a lot. Whenever I'm like playing a game or reading a, a manga, watching an anime or whatever, and the anime, the thing has like a very strong specific theme, right? Every character fits into that theme usually. Like Yu-Gi-Oh, for example, everyone plays card games. Or like Blue Reflection, everyone is a lesbian. And it's like, okay, I, I like lesbian content, but not every person is going to be a lesbian just because they went to an all-girls school. You know what I'm saying? We probably should have a couple of characters who have no interest in romance, who are straight, or just never bring it up. Like, if when everyone is shoehorned into the theme, it feels weaker to me. It is a better world. It sure is. <laughs> Oh, there's a Yuri version? Oh, shit. Uh, did they animate it? Um, and in, in this one, they don't do that. There are multiple characters who are in relationships with women, multiple characters where romance just never comes up. Um, so I was really happy about that too, was that we just, we legitimately had a well-rounded cast and they all respected each other. They didn't look down on one another. Like, no one's relationship was better or worse than someone else's. And there's even, like, this really cute uh, joke, I guess, that they keep going back to. Where the straight guys, their female partners are also into BL. And they keep going on and on and on about it. And their male partners are like, I don't fucking get this shit. Dude, translate for me. What are they saying? <laughs> 
go to the the BL boy so that they can understand their girlfriends better. It's cute. It's fucking cute. So everyone respects everyone. Everyone's got different tastes. It's fucking sweet. It's probably almost too sweet because there was only one, like, bullying scene over being into BL. Um, there probably honestly should have been more because they are in an all boys school. And you know that there'd be hella insecure boys, so there probably should have been a little bit more. I'm, I'm happy there's not, but there probably should have been a little bit more. Um, because people are not that accepting generally. <laughs> but we did get, we did get a very, very tried and true line where the guy who was doing the bullying, he's like, it should just be a guy and a girl. Like, why the fuck is it two guys? And it's like, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Yep. I definitely heard that one before. <laughs> Yeah, so the main character, if he sees behavior that is, like, tropey, he will assign the trope to the behavior. So if one of his classmates, and he only does it to people he's close to, they do establish this, he doesn't do it to people who he's not close to, but if he's close to someone, he will be like, oh man, you were acting kind of semi there for a second. <laughs> Which is kind of cringe, but... <laughs> but at least he only does it to people who he knows well, so that's good. <laughs> but he randomly meets the the other male lead, the, the male romantic interest, right? And... Um, yeah, you know, honestly, he probably would. We haven't gotten to that point yet. But you know what? Is that explicitly an American thing? Where did that originate from? Is that something that, like, made it into Japanese culture? I kind of almost feel like that's an American thing. But I don't know. Maybe it's not. But, um... Um, he meets, he meets main guy and main guy is a super normie, like super, super, super normie. Uh, he doesn't watch anime of any genre. He doesn't read manga. Um, super normie. And they meet and, um, main, uh, the, the, the normie guy, he was just kind of like instantly taken by BL weeb boy. And he didn't really know why, but he just wanted to be around him more. So he started, like, trying to find out, like, oh, what class is he in so I can see him more and stuff like that. And he ends up asking, like, I want to I wanna get to know you a little bit better. Like, what kind of things are you into? And this fucking insane child is like, yeah, we've just met. I'm going to give you BL. <laughs> Maybe he thought it would scare him away or something. I don't know. But he was like, here, this is the kind of stuff I read. Read it alone in your bedroom. Do not let anyone see it. <laughs> <laughs> and so Normie Boy takes it home and he reads the whole thing and he comes back the next day and he was like, I was kind of shocked, but it was fucking good. Do you have more? And so they just start this relationship of like, sharing BL manga and coming back and talking about it and it's really fucking cute it's really sweet and normie guy catches on very quickly that he's like nah I'm fucking into this boy I I want to I want to hold his hand I want to kiss him I like this boy and he's like I've never felt that way about a boy before but goddamn I I like this boy and he keeps trying to purposefully, like, set up all of the BL tropes with the boy <laughs> to, like, be like, look, look, I'm, I'm giving you BL in real life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so cute. And 
said uh, the, the BL boy, he takes a lot longer to come to terms with things because he still has all of the fear of like being found out that he likes this stuff and then even further like oh people would think it's weird if we were walking hand like walking in town holding hands and stuff like that he's much more insecure about it than normie is and he takes longer to come to terms with it but i they handle it very realistically and i think at a very healthy pace because it would be weird if he was just like yeah i've never liked a guy in my life but just instantaneously yeah sure yeah it, especially with how insecure he is, I think it would be weird. So I appreciate the pace it's been going at. It's so fucking, like, it's not pandering at all. I'm so pleasantly surprised. It's so good. I really, really recommend it. I'm not done. I think I have three episodes left. The kiss has not happened yet, but I think it's going to happen any moment now because BL Boy is finally coming to terms with things. But like instantaneously, nah, 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 nah. I'm happy. I'm happy for that. That's good. But I want to. I want to see natural progression. And if the character starts out okay with it, fine, awesome. But if they start on one end of the spectrum, I I need to see the progress from one side to the other personally. And we're seeing it in this one, and it's so nice, and like. The other, like, the other side characters who have their own, yeah, hints at least, yeah. Um, they're so, everyone is so fucking cute. So, like, his best friend is straight, but he's, like, hella obsessed with his girl to the point where he would just literally do anything for her. So, there's, like, this through line. Like, he's alright with the things his friend is into the bl um because he kind of just puts himself in the headspace of like if my girl wanted this i would do it for her so he like it's very 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 stereotypical right it's an all-boys school so for the culture festival there's a cross-dressing thing right so so tropey um and he is all right with it because he knows that his girlfriend would like to see him crossplay, so he's like, yeah, I'll do it for my girl. <laughs> he's so cute! So even the side characters are really, really nice. Okay, and that, yeah, that's legit, and that's good, and I like that, and then we can, like, yeah, no, I think that's super fair. I think that's a really good place for a character to start. <laughs> oh no. I'm gay as fuck. <laughs> I like that. Are you back, gamer? I've been here for like the last five minutes just hearing you go on about I don't even know... I missed the entire part about like what actual series you're talking about. I'm just uh, like, uh, it's probably something else gay. It's yeah. very gay. Yeah, it was, it was good yeah. gay. Yeah, good when gay. In, when in doubt, if it has, if she was involved, there's probably a trace amounts of gay. <laughs> I've just accepted that. <laughs> it was so cute. It was so good. It wasn't pandering at all. I, I usually have to just like grit my teeth through some pandering, but there was none. I was so happy. It was good gay. Okay, so I uh, I did a, a decent amount of research and it would help if let's see. Let's go chat on stream. I think my mic is actually muted. There we go. Oh, the game seems loud again. I might have to turn it down again. 
So the room has been created. And same as before. Same as before. Cool. Um Can we replay? Actually, no settings is the same. So it's just that title screen that's really loud. So I found, apparently there is a quote unquote happy ending achievement. I have no idea if it actually is a better ending or not, but it looks like we might actually have to restart from the very beginning, so should we trade places, maybe? Um, hmm. If we there want to try to do it quickly, no. Yeah. But if we're fine with fucking up more, then that's cool. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But that's the content. <laughs> okay. Okay, so for real though, for real though, how explicit was the chess part? Because I will not be able to tell you what those pieces are. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Like, it was on the chessboard in the video. Okay, all right, as long as that's there, then I'm not too worried. I might as well. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 God, that was fucking with me. I thought the audio was wrong. I forgot I'm hearing you through the game, not through Discord. <laughs> yep. Okay, okay. I'm just making sure everything's good on my end. I thought so, right, Hunter? Yowie paddles are an American thing. That, that just seemed to make sense. I, I'm glad I was not when in the uh, in the yaoi paddle phase yeah i wasn't ever either i didn't get it i like gay but i didn't i didn't get the paddle well and there, there's gay and then there's physical assault and those are two different things it's true it's true it's very true despite what some members of the gut i'm not i'm not going that i'm not saying that what i don't get it there are some opinions that are very wrong. I will leave it at Oh, that. I see. I see. Okay. 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 Um, yeah, I think, I think, um, uh, all right. Yeah. You know what? You're probably going to love, you're, you're going to much, much prefer the librarian side as anyone. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, um, I can skip this. Yeah, we saw this before. Yeah, yeah. Is he gonna skip it? Maybe he doesn't know he can skip it. Khadiv, it was so great. So... We were in the last hallway. And I heard Kimbe say, get wrecked. And I was like, what? And then I heard him say, oh. And then it cut to a screen saying that I left Kinbei behind to die in the dungeon. <laughs> Leprechaun dead. <laughs> 
So now we're trying um, to do it so that um, both of us survive. But now this time I'm the librarian, so this is probably going to go a lot worse. All right, gamer. I heard noises I did not like. Wait, what? I heard noises that sounded like something was like gnarling on something. Doesn't matter. Wait, oh, oh, oh. Welcome, gamer, to the ToshoCon. Enjoy your stay. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I have no clue. How long do we feel like going today, Kimbe? I feel like we can probably speed run getting this happy ending and seeing what it does, and then end it there. Sounds good. We just end it all. No more stream. So, 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 okay, so you just have access, you are only ever in one room? Um, you are in that one room for the, the most, the most part of this game. It adds new little branches here and there, but for most of it, it is just that one room. Gotcha. Okay. 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 Also, chat says, stop deep throating your mic. The glyphs for the eyes and things, that's like immediate to your right. He's going to keep deep throating the mic, chat. So I have a blue eye on the left, green eye on the right. <laughs> oh yeah, I assume it's because of like, like I I probably sound weird, right? Yeah, right. I, I'm I'm assuming it's the game, and not actually his mic. Um, you said blue left, green right. Correct. All right, so, uh, Nancy Mary. Got it. And now I, now you see what I mean? Every last one of those paintings is disgusting. Coming, gamer. You know, I was trying to find one that I would be like, ah, this is pretty cute. But then I saw one with like a tongue sticking out on its back. Yep. Anyway, um, I got the same first picture that you did. The goat head, Griffith body, um, chicken legs in the front, wings and tail of like a Griffith bird, goat. Goat back feet. Alright, so we start with a skinny borb. Skinny... Skinny, skinny borb, I believe. Okay. What's the middle? Uh, turtle boy. Turtle, turtle, turtle. Turtle. And then the, the TV antenna thingy. TV antenna. Nice. Speed run. Speed run. And now I think it's the pipe one. I think. Oh my gosh. I literally got an achievement just called, is that a, for, and it was based on the shape that was uh, the sus shape. Oh, I don't think I got that. Anyway, uh, drawer or door filling up. It's it says it's it says purple, but it's made in green. It says purple, but it's so made I think we need to make green first and then purple. Uh, where? Uh, a door opened that was like you know the room with the table. Yeah, it was a dungeon though. And then there's a little under balcony area that has a pipe with it. Yeah, but the door leads to a dungeon. Yeah, go down that dungeon. That oh. dungeon is the sewers. Okay, I didn't know. The sewers have pipes in them too. You live in New York, you should know this. 
Okay, okay, okay. I've got the, the, the lovers. What am I doing? So, I believe it was... It was a green word that said purple. So, we need to combine them to make green first, and then purple. Okay. Green. First. And then... Grazie, grazie. Putting that degree to use, I see. You see how I didn't kill you? Hey, I didn't kill you the second time. <laughs> okay, um, go back to the room and get to the table with the map. I, I got the map. Okay, now abandon that for a moment and uh, go back into the room that you like first picked up the walkie-talkie. Okay. Go up the stairs and pull the lever. You should start hearing a super annoying sound. Mm -hmm. I pulled it, but I don't hear anything. You're lucky. Um, pull it again. I might have not done it in the right order. Okay, pulled it again. Okay, well, if you look at the map now, does it, like, glow? It do. It do. Okay. Well, I am being a pro gamer in speedrunning, so I just pulled the blue lever. Okay. Um, I've never even seen this part of the game before, and I'm just, like, going based off of the map in my head. Okay, but how do I know what you do next? Oh, is it updating so in just, real time? I'm leaving the, uh... Oh, that was the worm. You yeah, saw I it! I like that boy. You, yeah, see? See? Yeah, I forgot I wasn't pushing. <laughs> South west room. I see the dog with the drool, and I'm heading towards the room with the green lever. Uh, but so, my question was the map I see, is it updating as you push levers? No. Oh, okay. So, how do I know what you do next? Um, so, the initial state of the entire dungeon is represented by the solid bars. And clear bars. And you just have to kind of mentally keep track. So like when I first entered the dungeon, anything that was a solid bar was blocked. And anything that was a clear, clear bar allows through. And then obviously when I flip a lever, uh, it's the opposite. Okay, and that, so now I need to go push the switch again. Okay. Okay. So I am in the room with the blue lever currently. I okay. believe I'm at the step where I need to flip it again and okay. head to the room with the red lever. Okay. Uh, do you want help with that? Or are you good? I am zooming along. I'm in like the S-shaped corridor. Uh-huh. I have passed the blue gate. It's your next right. Okay. Oh yeah, that big room that had like the three branches. E. Be in the room with the red lever, question mark. I might have missed it. Really? The room with the red lever was blocked by a green gate, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait, no. Wait, I, I want to do just it. Blind. Wait, I want to do it, Khadiv. Says the man with that needs glass. There it is. So let's see what happens if I pull this thing ten times. Wait, that's a lot. Why are you pulling it that much? That's what it takes to get the achievement. Oh, there's an achievement for it? Oh. Oh no. Oh, I hope it's not. Let's just hope that that means it's that we get the good ending and it's not some kind of Shimonetta.
be wary of the worm. I think I think it's a shima nada. No, oh, now I just feel gross. Okay, I'm headed back to the room with the blue lever. Okay. Headed to the room with the green lever. Okay. This is nice. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> Never pulled. I am through the maze. Good job, team. Amazing. <laughs> okay, I got cold chess. Mm -mm. So there's like a, a radiator thing that you have to play like one of those timing mini games with. I think I see. I saw the radiator. I'm just looking if there's anything else. Well, I gotta put the movie in, right? It won't let me put the movie in? That's weird. Wait. Two. Wait, no, the third one. Can I not take the movie upstairs? You can. You grab it off the uh, off the bookshelf, or not off the table, with the map, and then you bring it up to the projector upstairs. That's weird. Like twice, it would drop it when I walked up the stairs, but the third time it worked. So I already got to the point where it's the bishop. I'm trying to remember which comes out next. I think it's one of the pawns. I believe it's the pawn freeze the knight. Pawn. Pawn. Was that the bishop to the C? And then another pawn at uh, B7. And then the queen. And then the pony. And then the queen. Do I have to do it every time myself? I think I do. Okay, I did it. This is so nice. You know, we're we're a really good team. <laughs> right, I'm I'm into this. I'm into this. Oh, I wasn't pushing to talk. We're a good team. We're such a good team. <laughs> I am still freezing to death. Um, yeah, so it was kind of hard for me to find the door, too, but it's kind of on the... I think it's on the white side, and it's, like, on the wall. I don't think you can die anymore, though. I think I found it. Yeah, it was just next to the generator. Yeah, cool. You were a good team. You did not give me any direction there the entire time. <laughs> I tried. I might not have been pushing V. <laughs> you were not. I was just doing that all by memory. <laughs> Okay, so we got that bulb. Uh, um, uh, so actually, there's multiple books. Oh wait, you said that. Okay, so you said fat bulb. Found. You just have to find the one that's closest. That's, that's not fat bulb. That's not fat bulb. Welcome to my life. That's this is my the daily librarian life. That's fat bulb. Okay, I have one fat bulb. Is it Teletubby Hill? 
Teletubby Hill, or as I like to call it, Otto. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because it's just the letter A with the katakana toe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then we got, like, kind of squirrely, swirly got, uh, guy, flathead, not really on a couch, more just, he looks hench. Yeah. Uh, guy doing the splits, circle head. Hell yeah. And then square eye unknown, square dress standing on banana boat. All right, we good, we good. So, uh, far west corner. Far west corner. North thrice. Okay, so here one, two, three. Two steps east. One, two. South, once. One. Towards eastern wall. Eastern wall. End of it all. Final exams. Hell yeah. And then here's where, um, let's just say it's a good thing that you already had your bathroom break. Ah. So what you do here to start is you select the phonograph. Select the phonograph. Can I get up there? I'm bringing one of them out. Tell me which one it is. I assume it's probably... Oh, I see, uh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Um, just for general practice, should I be standing on the stage? Should I be... You have to stand on the stage. Once you hit the phonograph, a mari the uh, killer marionette will appear in the audience, and the closer that you get to it, you die. Gotcha. I can see now. Like, you can see clearer on this side through the cracks than the other side. Yeah, I, I could. I, I tried to get close to the uh, seams, and I just literally could not. So that makes sense. Yeah. Uh... So which is this? Is this crowd? Is this... So crowd, if it's the same always, then crowd should be front left. Okay. Then I think it's just time to select the phonograph. Okay. So I think this this is what always got me slipped up because I would always mix up the castle and the good king, right? Well, I also realized I can probably just escape at any time, like, and just check which ones are and are not present. Sure, um, but for time saving, I believe it is for the left side. What is physically in front is the right bottom, so crowd is right bottom, and then bad king is middle bottom, and queen is bottom left, but it's the reverse for the right side. So there is no front, there's only two cardboards on the right side. So that top left lever you can't interact with. So that's the front of the right side, right? So then the middle is, the top middle is castle, right top is good king. Not hold me. I think. So, if you can remember all that. <laughs> I'll also try to remember, too, so I can just be, like, bottom right. Maybe, I, I don't know, I think I have too much uh, confidence in myself, but I'll try. That's an old throwback. Okay, so did you hear what he said? Castle full of life. Uh, so castle, something like... Is this one crowd? Or is this one queen? Queen would be bottom left. Crowd would be bottom right. 
One more time. Queen would be bottom left. Crowd would be bottom right. So this one should be crowd. Ah, I realized my problem. Ah, uh, evil king. E evil king is out. Yee, -e crowd. Good, good. And castle should be middle top. Should be middle top, yeah. Am I doing something wrong? What do you mean, Kadif? Okay, good. I'm just saying you may want to keep watch on the audience. So oh, he's all right. And it was something like something, something, the king and his wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks good. Oh no, was the king not all the way out? I mean, the king and queen look kind of, I guess they could go one more forward, I don't know. How centered does it need to be? I don't know. I'd say, if anything, maybe move the crowd out more? He's alright. He's alright. Like, the crowd has to be in the very center of stage. Like, in the middle of the castle. It looks okay now? I, I, I don't know. It looks okay to me. I don't know how precise this has to be. I'll get rid of crowd because it said something like it was it just or lived his the king and wife. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think they can swap places, Kadiv. I think they're stuck to their sides of the stage. But I guess if you kept moving them forward. And then I think this was the one that needed everyone out. Uh. Four. Four was the one that needed... Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. Never mind. Never mind. Everyone that we just had out. Yeah. Maybe one more on the crowd? Cool. Two more on the castle? Perfect. Oh, maybe, like, one more on the king? How many more on the king? At least one. Try that. And how's your audience looking? Cool. It's good. Always happy and always good. What does it say this time? Well, I, this is the one where your stuff has disappeared. King killed all he could. King killed all he could. Okay. Ah, so maybe everything that's left for you, that's what comes out, right? I don't, I don't know. I don't get this one. I think maybe it's... Was this the one that we... Was this Bloodlight and just the Evil King? I don't remember. Frick, I can't remember. So this one should be king? You just got rid of king. Like, he's gone now. Yes, yes. And then this should be evil king? Yeah, he coming out. Oh my gosh, he's gay! If you want him center, he needs to be four. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yo! Hell yeah! I 
And then this is where it was just like the king stu stood in blood. So we want him exactly in the bloodlight. Okay. All right. Uh, one more. Perfect. Good. What? Oh my god. Uh, so, um, I thought he was cute, so I walked towards him to get a better look at him, and it might have killed me. <laughs> but he was sitting... <laughs> he was sitting in the chair, it was really cute. I don't think he's cute. I thought he was terrifying. He was adorable. His little feet couldn't touch the ground. They were just dangling off the chair. Were you looking at him periodically? Were you seeing all the other poses he was in? Yeah, he was cute. He was dangling from the ceiling. Yeah, that's what he does. That's what he do. I think he's cute. One of the most terrifying things to me, which is ironic given my who I am, are like artificial killing machines. Know what I'm saying? Cute. It's a person or like an animal. That's one thing. But if it's a if it's a robot or like a sentient marionette, I think that is that's a whole different level. That's hot. Not like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so fat board. Oh, right, right. We're back at the uh, the walking death trap. Okay, so you said fat board. Fat board. Um, I'm not even going to try to describe the second one. You already know what it is. Oh, okay, okay. It's a penis. Alright. Wait, but that's not Fat Borb. Oh, no. The the third little guy sitting on the couch is the same as last time, but the the dancing guy is Diamond Head Three Legs. No. No. Wait, these aren't right. And then on the banana boat is Triangle Dress Round Eye. Oh. Oh, what? What? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, it got real fucking weird, but I think we're good. Um, okay. Uh, far East. Far East. Two steps north. I think we might be missing one thing. Oh, did you die? Oh. Up oh, and we are back to the beginning. Oh, okay. Uh, you said. Oh wait, you said fat boar. Ah, oh, my yeah. bad. That probably. I I consciously did not say the shape of the second one, and that might have led us down the wrong path. I think I th no couch. A different book. No couch? I actually think it's the very first one you ever got. Like, normal sized board, Otto. Um, wait. Uh, wait. Wait, I thought you said fat board. It's normal board? Eds. Wait, what? <laughs> this is literally like the first book that you got. The first time you were on the explorer side. I thought you said fat board. I don't, I don't remember what that is. Going from left to right. Cat board. Not fat. Normal, normal skinny amount. Oh, cat. Normal size head. Not fat. And then Teletubby Hill slash just a giant letter A. With a letter with a Japanese katakana toe on it. Uh, well, 
the way guy right. chillaxing on a couch. Okay. Guy dancing with rhombus heads and three legs. Unknown standing on a boat with a triangle dress, circle, circular head. So, so this one was right. Okay, okay. It's just I I consciously did not say how phallic the uh, the last one was on the second option, and I think I might have skewed you down the wrong direction. Okay, uh, I think this is the right one. So uh, far east. Far east. Two north. One, two, and I'm dead. <gasps> what? It was like two north, but not before. Anyway, new book. Yeah, no, I'm reading it right. It doesn't matter. Do you have it? So skinny borb. Skinny borb. Teletubby Hill. Uh, every time I fail the the option, we literally have to change the book. I'm just I'm just making sure I got my head on right because I never do. The book that has the surprise Pikachu face. There's only like one. Oh, so, wait! You never said surprise Pikachu face. I didn't. It's because this is a different book. I went on to the. I got stabbed by the by the spikes, and then every time I get stabbed, the book changes. Oh, I didn't know that. Gone through three different books at this point. I keep going for the same one. <laughs> yeah, because the first time, I think it was just wrong. Um, and that's on my fault. The second time was probably the right one. And I might have missed, took a misstep or it might have been one of those where like it had a gotcha where it's like, go three steps north and then one step, but not before... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And now we just have a different book. All right, well, now I have Pikachu face, so... Face. Okay, far west. Far west. Two steps north. One, two. East twice. I think my problem is that... I was counting, like, far west as the first tile. So, like, I was going oh. three out instead of two out. Gotcha. No book. Wait, wait again? <laughs> yeah, that's how this works. <laughs> Man, I was so good at this one. All right, what do we got? I think it's the same book that I had the first time that was misinterpreted. I, so not, fat sir, burb, sir, I, chonky, you know, you know, you chonky, know, you know, stone like ocean, burb after Thanksgiving levels. <laughs> you know, stone ocean Go. can can only keep three things in your brain. I. <laughs> That was my, my least, one of my least favorite fights, but go on. Oh, that's, you know, that, that has left my brain. We're past that. So anyway, <laughs> well, uh, day after Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, I'm not even going to describe the second one. Okay, no. <laughs> it's not Teletubby Hill? It is absolutely not Teletubby Hill. Okay. Fat Borb, not Teletubby Hill. It's, it's not, not skinny either, it's girthy. Okay, it's girthy. It has girthy. a wide diameter. Alright, wide diameter. That's still Teletubby Hill. And then third, kind of is and isn't guy on a couch. His head's really smushed down. But no couch, but he's lounging. He's lounging. It's not not the not the nice wide couch. It might be like a, like a one-seater. Oh, see, I take that to be his arms, but I get you. I get you. Could also be his arms, yeah. More likely, I'm like, it's either his arms or he's in like a dad chair, like a lazy boy. I think, I think we're good, Kadeev. I think this is it. And then diamond heads, three legs. Hell yeah. 
circle eye unknown trial triangle dress banana boat. Hello. This book is blue, I think. E green. Colors are hard, apparently. Okay, so this is what I did, because, you know, the staircase kind of, like, starts you on a square, right? Say that again? Like, the staircase, the next step is a square, right? Correct. So I jumped up and, like, didn't. That's not your starting point. Because there's, like, a little bit of a ledge you can stand on. So, like, the... The staircase is is or is not the starting point? No, it's not. Okay. So what I did, and this is, I'm, I'm saying this specifically because this is your starting point. I jumped to the left on that little walkway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got so, so the left corner. That isn't technically on the tile? T yeah, yeah. So, but the, the first left corner, you know, the furthest left corner you can start on. That's your starting point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, like, not not actually walking onto a tile, going up the stairs, turning left, going all the way to the west wall. Yeah. Take one step forward onto the first tile I see. And that's your start. I am here. Okay, cool. So... It's that thing where you're going north, but do not step on the last north left tile. So, let's see, out of these one, two, three, four, out of these five tiles, I go to the fourth one. Yee. Yeah. One, two, three. Two east. East. After the two east, you're going to take one south. Okay, heading east, one, two, south, one. And now you're just going to go to the east wall. I'm done. Yee. Okay, now we're back here. Don't be attracted to a cute little Marion at this time. I'm sorry. I thought we were safe. <laughs> He's not Pinocchio, he's Pinocchio. <laughs> Pinocchio, that's his name. Pinocchio. Pinocchio. <laughs> Worth it. Alright, you need a need a recap, are we good? Uh is this the queen that I'm moving out right now? I think it's it yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's castle and crowd that I need. I'm just gonna do it before I get started. Yeah, might as well. Hell yeah. Strats. That's the bad king. That's bad king, yeah. So that should be crowd, and then that one should Looking pretty center, too. I think it, like, just literally has a cap. Oh, okay, okay. Like, I cannot move castle past this point. Mm. This is great oh, now you can the photograph. Uh, just king and crowd? That's it? Oh, that answers that. It's supposed to be just castle and crowd. Ah. Uh. Right. I can. I can talk shit. <laughs> Tell me when the king is away. Oh yeah, king's good. Um, one more. You're good on that. Okay. Now we can start for real. Ooh, it reset. Oh, it doesn't matter. Well, at least we got a dry run in. Yeah. 
I say that, and oh yeah, I, 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 that's the right one. That's the right one. I think he's cute. I'm staring at him. It looks like a little goofball. That's the worst part. <laughs> when the expression doesn't change, even though you know the murderous intent. Okay, so this should be Castle and Crab? E. Nice. And then I think this one is Castle, King, and Queen. It just says King and his wife, but I don't, I don't remember. I realize that it stops making the grinding sound once they're already out, like all the way out, so I'm like, I'll just keep going. Just keep going until I hear that. So this is the one that's everyone but bad boy. His emo phase comes next. Hell yeah. He starts listening to My Chemical Romance. I've heard of that one, but I can't, I can't name a song. Don't worry, I don't think most MCR fans can either. Oh, do they name their songs weird? Uh, no comment. Was that right or wrong? That was, that was right, that was right. Uh, did it say something about the king being bad this time? Yeah, see, like, they just stay out there. Ah, uh, the, okay, yes, yeah. This time when I was like, well, can you retract them? Yes, no. <laughs> this is so the them all back. Did you see him move this time? Yes. Is he not still, is he not terrifying? Oh, I was looking at the king move. I thought you meant that. No, he's cute. We have to agree to disagree on that front then. You know what? It's just, he's got big cat energy. Like when a cat tries to stalk you. And then this one was King Baths in Light. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the castle. Nope, that's the king. No, you could. Uh, one more. There you go. Bloodbite is on, correct? It's red. That answers that. Is he standing in the bloodbite? E. Okay, now go down the trap door now. There we go. <laughs> okay, so what happened? Yeah. What happened last time? I hope that having actually gotten the achievement doesn't like like the fact that we died doesn't change the fact that we have the achievement. Oh, we have to do like a perfect run. I have no clue or not. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. And it's time for me to alt tab. I see. So you stood on this and that's how I got out.
It's a white thing though. Did something have to happen in that dungeon? Okay, I read up and uh, literally like even people that like scoured the game files said, yeah, there was some unused code, but otherwise, nope, no, I feel both people to escape. Oh, okay. Well, I got the trophy, so this time you leave me behind. Okay, bye. Thanks for nothing. Oh, nothing? <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke. We all love you here too. <laughs> I I let you out. You volunteered, which I, I am greatly appreciative of. Well, well. Even if I did have to remember the chess part by memory. I uh, that's probably for the best, honestly. <gasps> Leaving me in like that. that. Like you, you were actually muted that entire time, and it was funny. I'm sure on your side they were like, "Oh wow, he's taking, he's taking the, these instructions amazingly." Meanwhile, here I am just sitting in silence, like, "Okay, uh, pawn to e5." It, it was great because my instructions were just yeah, and then horsey, and then queen. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should go back and rewatch the vod just to see, like, try to reconstruct what was going on there. <laughs> That was pretty fun, though. That was a cute little game. Silly that you can't uh, both win. But there's a trophy for it. So no one can 100% the game? Yeah, this was the free one. Um, but there's like some expansions, right? Or are they just different games? Oh yeah, we have to unmute ourselves on Discord again. There's sequels. That's ah, he left. I see, I see. I wondered why you got quiet. I see. <laughs> um, this was my first ever stream that I think I took just a straight up half hour break. <laughs> Not intentionally. <laughs> uh, but my router really needed to be restarted. I've been... I, he, I've been... <laughs> Just attacking that poor little boy with a bunch of VLANs and stuff recently. And uh, it got to the point that he was overheating and couldn't handle domain name service anymore. Which, mm. um, what that means is whenever there's some kind of app or something that uses, like, a URL. Like, uh, for example, twitch.tv yeah. or discord.com. Uh, okay. URLs are like that are used instead of IP addresses, especially if something needs has like multiple different IP addresses that it could resolve to. So those are often hard coded into things. So I could ping out two IP addresses, like global IP addresses. I could ping to like 1.1.1.1, but I couldn't ping twitch.tv, which meant that I couldn't stream just a slight a hiccup just a slight problem and also meant i couldn't connect to discord <laughs> and before that um the game actually somehow remember when i was complaining about the game not having windowed full screen yes well one of the times when i alt tabbed it actually refused to give up control of my mouse mm, mm -hmm. so i just couldn't interact with my desktop <laughs> I, had, I had to hard reboot. That's awesome. As that's just a day in the life. It's one of those days where it's like, yeah, just I just expect everything to break. That's all right. I still had a good time. Had a good time. If you want, there are uh, there there are expansions to that game, and by expansions, I just mean full on follow up games. But <laughs> none of them are free. They're like ten bucks per. So that's on you. Um. I've also discussed playing them with Vorb as well. Well, didn't but you 
Didn't you two play this? We played it a long time ago, not on stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, as part of the uh, the official Neo V announcement trailer, which I think, you know, given that it's it's uh, not, it's, it's still a few months away, still a few months away. But almost a year ago. Almost a year ago. Is this yeah, the yeah, end yeah. of stream? Yes, Lucid. Literally the end of stream. I recognized the little runes. I was like, I'm pretty sure this is the one you two played. Like, you and me played Smash, but yes. I, was, I was pretty sure you two played this one because I recognized the runes. Yes, yes. That is why I thought of it because I was like, I could probably speed on this game. And we have proven that I have. Hell yeah. Even with a half hour. Don't worry, Lucid. I know. Uh, I know it feels like you missed a lot, but I we we literally had half an hour where just my entire internet went down. Yeah, but no. like, like me running around in circles trying to find the best reception when it was in fact me not letting you talk. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Lucid was here for that. <laughs> like, did you just hear me <laughs> crying like an insane person? Yes. <laughs> yes, that was great, honestly. <laughs> and I was Someday. like, I, I, I literally had to send someone in chat, like, someone. Because, I mean, I could have messaged on Discord, but I wasn't sure if you had streamer mode enabled. Oh, yeah, I do. So I was, I, I just had to go, like, Lucas, someone, tell her to stop holding V, please. <laughs> That that is what got me to stop. Yeah, so it worked. <laughs> ah. But uh, anyway, do you have any last shout outs before the stream ends? Uh, no, I don't think so. Thanks for gaming, gamer. Thanks for gaming. I'm, I I, mm, I feel bad for how little I have streamed this month, but also just my hours have taken so much of a toll on me. I've said this like seven times. I always default to seven for a, a, a large, but not unreasonably large number. But like a, a few weeks ago, I got back to the Daito Shokan from the Data Solchi at like 6 a.m. Sunday. Well, no, 7 a.m., 7 a.m. I was up. I, just, I had a hard time getting to sleep that day, so I was up until about 11 a.m. And then I finally did get to sleep, and I basically did not wake up until Monday, 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. I mean, that that's good that you got the sleep your body needed, but at what cost? <laughs> It was a little under 36 hours. It's just a little nap. It's just, just two streams that were just in and out, gone. <laughs> you just gotta go to one of those sleeping streams, that's all. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Sleep upright in my Herman Miller chair. Is that a fancy uh, chair? What is that? It, Herman Miller is a fancy chair, although this one in particular is one of their lower tier ones, but it's still decently comfortable. Mm, gotcha, gotcha. Chat says it's illegal for feeling bad. What? It's, you got, it's illegal to feel bad. You just gotta, you gotta get, you gotta get rest. You gotta prioritize yourself. Oh, I thought, I thought they were saying that the fact that I feel bad is illegal and I should be arrested. Well, yeah, <laughs> so you should not feel bad. You should just rest. I see. I see. Yeah. But what if I feel bad for resting? I guess you're just going to jail, buddy. My life is an ins infinite cycle of torment. <laughs> feel and bad in prison! <laughs> Don't mind the fact that I basically just snap my uh, spine there. That happens occasionally. It's a, oh, it's a yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think about like what else I'm gonna try and do for the week. Yeah, I've, what you got? What you got brewing? I've I've been really wanting to do another hand cam stream. I think, despite the fact that my first hand cam stream, I only got two cables in because I, I literally, that stream made me order 
like as soon as it finished, I just went on Amazon and ordered the missing. There's a very specific tool that I was missing. Mm. I could have done with scissors. I had no idea where my scissors were, but I ordered a pair of flush cutters. Um, they were ten dollars, and they were probably some of the best ten dollars I'm ever gonna spend. Oh hell yeah! Because like the whole reason why that stream took four hours was because the cable has a solid core that I can't, I couldn't easily cut around. Because like my the uh, the clippers I were using were too bulky, so for like you actual. You couldn't just bite. I'm a germaphobe. Is that like a legit technique? Some people will just bite. I'm sure there's someone out there. There's someone out there who just doesn't care enough and is like, nah, I'll just bite. And it would work? Like, it wouldn't It wouldn't mess up the wire? Well, if it's, if you've frayed out the cores, like, like the wires themselves enough, and you just got it to it's the, uh, the solid core. Oh, and then you would literally just... Okay, yeah, I can visualize. It would work much better than like the method I was using. Okay. But... Just munch. And now I'm trying to remember where I actually put my flush cutters. I've talked I used them to snip a zip tie earlier today. Oh heck yeah. yeah. They are. But uh I wanna do another hand cam. I specifically I wanna do a stream I where I install Open WRT. Um, so that's it's 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 hard to explain <laughs> in layman's terms. Mm hmm But so you know how I like to install Linux on Windows computers? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well Open WRT is a very similar concept. You just have to set aside the fact or uh, let me take a step back. It's like the same kind of thing, but for like consumer routers. So like the ASUS routers that you can just go into Best Buy and buy off the shelf. Yeah. I I, I could hear the gears turning for a moment there. Um, although ASUS is a bad example because they actually don't support OpenWRT. They have to use like ASUS Merlin. Uh, anyway. So. OpenWRT is a custom operating system that you can install on those kind of routers instead of the ones that they ship from the factory default. Okay. It's just, like, the thing is, coincidentally, all those routers are already running Linux. <laughs> you'd, okay. You'd be hard-pressed hard to find a consumer router that isn't just a Linux-based ARM machine. <laughs> Which makes it... Um, I always laugh when people are like, I'm never going to use Linux in my life. I'm like, okay, <laughs> unplug your router. <laughs> Scrub. <laughs> um, but OpenWRT, like, you can install it on routers and gain a lot more functionality that has a very broad ecosystem. So, like, I bought two... I think they were originally $100 routers, but you can find them for, like, 50 bucks on eBay. Um, and they're, like, Wi-Fi 6. And I'm going to try to set up as, like, a mesh network and have all my... The number one reason I want to do this is for VLANs, specifically, which is the virtual local area network. Um... Listen, you had your gay talk, I get my tech talk. Yeah, it's, absolutely. It's equal I equal representation. Yeah. Equal representation. So, like, when you normally, for, for most households or whatever, you just have a single local area network. That's probably going to be in the chat. I dare you right now. Open up PowerShell. Type in ipconfig slash all. Your IP address is going to be in the 192.168 range. Ask me how I know. I, uh, I, I think I remember what PowerShell is. Press the Windows key and X at the same time. Yeah, I think we, we did this when we were setting up the new... Yes. The, yeah, 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 I remember this. 
So if you open up PowerShell, I didn't understand a single word, sir. You just have to follow along. This is this is just one step. This is, you don't have to understand anything else that I'm saying. This is just one step that you can follow along at home. I mean, Lucid for you, it's different for you. It's going to be IP, like open up the terminal IPA. Uh, well, IPA dev show. <laughs> Kinbei, I'm calling the police on you for being free. I'm, I am literally having the police be called on me for exercising my First Amendment rights. For and you being know, a nerd. And you, yeah. and, you, and you said that I'm I'm listening to your to your tech stuff that I barely understand uh, because I I, I I like listening to the things that my friends care about even if I don't understand. But um, you didn't actually listen to me talking about the gay boys. So when I, when you're done, you you have to listen to me talk about the gay boys, right? Cuz that's I mean, I was there for like five, eh, three minutes, three minutes before, like I actually talked. I was just good. sitting in call and I checked in on stream. Good, good. So, but so. I, but I do agree to listen to the gay boys. I'm, I, I'm mostly kidding. I'm mostly kidding. <laughs> I do not mind. Maybe not on stream, just so that because like that was already there. I, I guess so. I guess so. But anyway, V land. Um, <laughs> So basically, like, on a normal network, every single device just, I, I say normal, on a typical default network, every single device has access to every other single device. Okay. And the way that IPv4 specifically works, which is the most commonly deployed uh, version of IP of the internet protocol, is, like, every device also can just shout to every other device, which can cause a lot of traffic and be a bit of a security risk of like here's an oddly specific one we have a tp link uh smart outlet plug thing it's like in a like a two prong two outlet power adapter okay. that you can it connects over wi-fi and you can turn on your your holiday lights okay well it's like okay Rule of thumb, just assume that all software has bugs and vulnerabilities. For sure, yeah. So, we're going to have this thing that we just can't control the firmware or whatever software runs on it. And it's just dangling outside of the Daito Shokan, emitting Wi-Fi signals on our own local area network. I want that thing to be in baby jail. And dumb, like... Dumb baby jail. Pretty much just like safely assume there's something like that in every household. But like, what? how likely is it that someone's actually going to do any actual harm with something like that? Uh, it's a matter of when, not if. That's just the best... It, it's a security best practice. For sure, for sure. I say... Uh, I don't care how small the risk is. If it can be mitigated, it, c it will be mitigated. That's fair. And if it can be exploited, it will be exploited. Uh, so VLANs, basically, I take the actual local area network of the Daito Shokan. Ronsan, welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Um... And then I just kind of chop it up and say, okay, you can only get this amount of the network. And you can only interact with these devices. And since I do it all on my firewall, I can also say, like, I can implement specific firewall rules. Like, my favorite one is literally just, like, uh, if a device is an IoT, like that smart plug I was talking about, mm -hmm. it can't talk to the internet. The end. And that, that's, that's, it doesn't really need to, right? No. Nope. It, yeah. it, we it needs to talk to our LAN so that we can tell it to, you know, turn on and off. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't, the only thing it needs to talk to the internet, you have to make an account, you have to sign in with your email address, make an account with TP-Link to turn on your outlet. And people wonder why I've obsessed so much about Linux. Minecraft has Microsoft telemetry now. I don't know what that is. 
I don't like that. What? Anyway. What is, I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, telemetry is the stuff where it's like, Google is spying on everything you do. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's just literally sending information back to whatever company owns the product. Okay, okay. But like, I, when I, in I, terms of Minecraft, it's probably like it's how long Minecraft. you're playing, what times you're playing, right? Stuff like that? Stuff like that, yeah. But even okay. still, when I, whenever I see something that says telemetry, I'm just like... Bleh. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Like, you know, they're selling that off to someone and making a profit off of you. Yep. Um... So, looping this back to OpenWRT. Mm -hmm. So, like, even though the consumer routers that you buy off the shelf, they're already running Linux. They basically have these features built in if you, like, dig under the hood. A lot of times, manufacturers are too lazy to properly implement a lot of features. So, like, I have multi-hundred dollar, like $200 Asus routers that don't have native VLAN support. Okay. So I just can't segment my Wi-Fi properly. But these two fifty buck things can. So I'm like, okay, I'll just do a, I want to do a stream where I just install OpenWRT on these routers live. And configure oh, them. okay, okay, yeah. And then I the hand cam wouldn't be that much of it, but I'd just have it, like, in the corner. Because mm -hmm, most of it mm -hmm. is just software stuff that I can do in a UI. It could definitely be informational for people. Educational? Informational? informational. <laughs> <laughs> Mathematical. <laughs> Take a look. It's in a book. Kimbe New Reading Rainbow Confirmed. Yo. Happy Prime. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Hell yeah. The real reading rainbow was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Speaking of friends we made along the way, mm -hmm. I think it's about time that we get along our way. Sure. But get out of this, blow this popsicle stand. Sure. So if you have no other major announcements for for the whole rest of the month, you know all. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. No, I think um um. I think yeah. I think for the rest of the month, I'm good. <laughs> Everyone, uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out check out to you. No, 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 no. Check out, check out Kimbe. No, there no, 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 uh, there no. There we go. There we go. How about, how about, wait, middle ground? Everyone go ahead, check out our favorite board, Porvidity. Absolutely. I can they, get behind this. They couldn't join us on stream today because they were, they were busy roosting, but they deserve all the love they can get. Did I do that right? I don't know if I did that right. I don't think I did that right. <laughs> Welcome to my life every single second of every single day. But for now, I'm going to see. Let's see. There's also. Was that what I do? There's also slash shout out. Uh, slash. Maybe it needs the app. Nope. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Let me see. I've done it before, too. That's the sad part. Yeah, it's literally just... I think it's this without the period at the front. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, come on. Just don't do, don't have the minus at the front. I thought. Oh, I was doing S O. Oh, I see. S O is what a lot of people do for like stream elements, but 
There we go. Okay. We did it, chat. We did it. We did it. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm the only one allowed. I'm the only one. I'm the only one allowed. I'm the only one in the Dido joke on right now, so I can be as loud as I want. Hell yeah. Bugger. Bugger, bugger. Okay. Oh man, I have to wait two minutes before I can shout you out. Okay, all right, you gotta wait two minutes, buddy. Right. Okay. Don't you have the exclamation mark in the UV? Oh, it's in the stream title. You right, you right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, I think with that. Let's see. Are they? Oh, they are. They are. They. Let me check. We live in a society. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, I think I know what we're gonna do. A Dark Souls pickup? What does that mean? Wait, is this what drops look like in Dark Souls? Is that what you mean? Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the items on the ground. Would I be a, a rare drop or I'd be like the worthless drop that you can never, you always get? Probably be the worthless drop that you always get, right? Ah, oh, you! <laughs> Am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? What are you seeing? I think I'm seeing the perfect opportunity to raid into our very own boss frog. Oh, is Jams alive? Unless I'm wrong, let me refresh my page. I checked like 10 minutes ago and he wasn't, so he must have just gone live if he is. Yep. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can. We're we can playing raid. the Spare Girls. So, which means I have to. We raid and then I immediately leave. I don't know. Uh, Despair Girls is pretty fucking funny, man. It's also kind of sus as fuck. Um, it's jams, of course. I, I just expect that at that point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, here I am just throwing our own boss out of the room. We just call it like it is, okay? We honest. We honest. He would do the same. Don't worry about it, Chad. It's fine. It's fine. I also like, I, now that I'm thinking about Dark Souls, if you're like not looking very closely, right? This kind of looks like the game over screen, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you like zoom in. I'm trying to just figure out which would be... I think the font, especially for like We're Here... I think that's true but if we're talking about colors then you did just have to zoom in really far on my shirt <laughs> just all black changed <laughs> yeah yeah wait the game over screen for dark souls is tits <laughs> it, it it is all it's all black with red lettering oh it's red lettering oh okay okay i just knew uh black screen with like dramatic text that's like and, it, and then we need to have the sound effect as well <laughs> there, there's it's just an iconic sound effect at this point i think even i know it i think and i've never I've never touched the game yeah it's that that like the wind blowing in the in the jingling bells some people make it say thanks obama <laughs> that's yeah. amazing that's what? That's so. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's and then so also, good. I all. That's up there with like. Ah, uh, uh, there's a there's a certain parody that people do of the Wii Sports. Like nice shot. Nice but cock. There we go. <laughs> it. It's like that level of meme that. It, I love that one so much. But you know what else we love? Our near and dear boss frog. Let's raid into jam. Uh, okay, all right, sounds good. <laughs> okay, everyone. So today was Kyowa, Kyo, especially Kyowa. Otsukare sama deshita. Otsukare sama deshita. So today was. Oyomu minasai, minasai.
<laughs> um, uh, uh, thanks for, thanks for joining us. Uh, safe, secure, eat well. Bye. See you. Bye. <laughs> it doesn't automatically take me to jam, so now I have to go over there. Yeah.